I'm Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Joseph Rolanitis, and he's from the FDA. Thanks for coming back, Joe. It's always great to be here with you, Ramona. You know that. Thank you so much. So, what's up with what we can throw away? Well, we uh, and, and <laughs> yeah, we got no rules on what we can throw away. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I shouldn't be sneaking those batteries in my, <laughs> in my trip. Well, you know, it's you, you got you got not, when it, it comes to medical waste, uh, which is 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 just a. a, a a lot of parameters here, a, a lot going on. We've got nine or 10 million Americans that when they, they leave clinics uh, and they go home, they have the, the wonderful option of, of, of bringing, you know, using syringes, using you know, medical products at home to improve the quality of their life. You know, they're, they're dealing with HIV AIDS, they're dealing with hepatitis, they're dealing with uh, diabetes, diabetes and, yeah. and, and, you know, and cancer. And they actually can treat and, and work with uh, their medicines at home. And, and that's a great thing. It does, it does a lot for quality of life issues. You know that. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, you, you, get, you get 10 million Americans who are generating billions uh, of items of medical waste uh, every year. I mean, syringes, lancets, uh, IV kits, all this stuff that they use at home. They're out of the clinical environment where, mm -hmm. where there's a disposal process set up and there's responsible disposal at the hospital. Yeah, they have the certain boxes they for do. certain things. They do. And, yeah, yeah. And, you and, see and them labeled. It's monitored. It's, it's controlled. It's done really well. It's done responsibly. But, you know, a lot of people, when you leave the clinical, clinical environment and, and you bring your devices home, your syringes, whatever, and you use it, well, what are you supposed to do? Well, you're not. Well, I can tell you what you don't do. Okay. You, you don't toss it into the uh, local pickup bag here in the city of Worcester, uh, where the syringe can, you know, point out and can poor garbage guy trying to make a living picking up trash and gets hit with an, an HIV, uh, you know, saturated uh, syringe or lancet or whatever. You don't do that. Um, you, you want responsible disposal of of home generated medical waste. And, and those, those boxes that you mentioned, those pickup boxes, you can bring those home. You can get them from a clinic. You can get them from the municipality, from the city. Uh, you can have mail-in returns, which is a little bit more comp uh, complex, but works, to return used medical waste to the, uh, to the hospitals or the, to the, the disposal uh, area to take care of that. So that's what you want to do. You don't want to toss it in the trash mm -hmm. and infect your, your, your sanitary, your, your, your your garbage guy. You don't right. want to do that. Right. You really want or anyone else in your house for that matter. Exactly. You well know, because sometimes you scoop something from the inside of the trash. Done it. Oh yeah. Oh no. I need to recycle that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then somebody could grab it, or your animal could step on it. It happens. It happens. And there's a there's a lot of medical waste generated. Billions of items of medical waste are generated, you know, weekly, monthly, yearly in this country. Uh, so you need to be. It's, you know, it's another awareness factor. It's another thing in a you know, busy American environment that you have to look at. But you know, we're who we are. We live the life that we do, the quality of life we do, because we take time to be responsible in, in, you know, in reading labels, understanding recalls, getting rid of medical waste. We just know and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So don't, you know, don't dump your syringes in the garbage. Yeah, I mean, don't do so it. So you're saying, I mean, are there companies that sell? Uh, is it very expensive in order to... I mean, you'd, you'd go and talk to your, your doctor and say, oh, I, you know, I'm a diabetic and I have to take uh, insulin through a needle. Right. What would be my procedure at home? Maybe they can separate the needle from the... They do. They, the, they, 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 these are called shops. And, and you have shops, disposal units, and boxes where you can, you can actually, you know, insert the needle, you know, bring a little handle down and, and destroy the, the usability so you can't reuse, you know, okay. old, old syringes and yep. so forth. And then you can deposit it right into the box and it can be dropped off at your clinic. It can be picked up uh, or sent by mail. Um, it can be brought to a municipal disposal area where they have the proper ways, Ramona, yeah. to deal with medical waste. Nice. Um, we generate it. We have it. We use it. We're responsible for it. Yeah. We and are responsible. what is the rule with pills? <laughs> Um, Remember, you know, back in the good old days, you used right. to flush them down the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was back in the I mean, I don't know if you can do that anymore. Well, but people, like people still do. Um, it's the same thing. You know, used, uh, you know, uh, medicines should be disposed of properly. Um, you know, you know drop-off boxes, you know, brought to clinics, uh, you know, destroyed on site. But, you know, it's not a good idea to put it into the municipal water system. We don't, okay. we don't advocate that. Yeah. I mean, I mean. It doesn't get filtered out, in other words. Not well. It okay. really doesn't. It, it doesn't leach out. It leach, leaches into things doesn't doesn't filter out really well okay. um, so 
you know, we have these wonderful luxuries here. We do, and mm -hmm. we know that. We're, you and I are advocates of yeah. the American lifestyle. Yeah. It's a good lifestyle. But at the same time, responsibility on how to protect it come, comes into play. Mm -hmm. And not everybody, unfortunately, adheres to or are aware that, you know, that medical waste uh, is supposed to be disposed of in a proper form, that, that you know, that, that used drugs or drugs that are out of date should not be, you know, flushed down the toilet or, or you know, sent into the water supply. Mm -hmm. um, they're just the right way to do it, and that's the wrong way to do it. And mm -hmm. Go to the FDA website, and, and the right ways are outlined for you. Oh, now, will pharmacies take them? Like old pills? I don't know, but I, I don't really know that. I don't know if that would be a great thing if they did. Yeah. Because I mean, you get your prescriptions there. You so do. if you had pills you didn't need yeah. anymore or they expire, yeah. you know, to be able to drop them off. Something I'll research for you and we'll find out whether pharmacies take back, I think they do, take back used medications or medications that are out of date. One thing which, which we advocate uh, you can use food past the expiration date. You cannot, you should not use medication. Medic oh really? Real, real, Any kind of medication? Yeah, doesn't matter? yeah. Once it goes past the expiration date, it is really loses its potency. And, oh, okay. And, you know, the, the the active ingredients, the potency of a medication, is part and parcel of why you buy it. It's it's treating, it's curing uh, an illness and, and a problem. And when the potency goes, the medicine medicine is, is really not functional. Okay. Don't so that's something that somebody to think about if they're buying in bulk. Sure. Oh, it is. It you, is. You know, yeah. you know, you don't want to stock up too much because your your medicine may lose its. Oh, no, it's funny. <laughs> I was just going through the bathroom cabinet, going, okay, what what in here is old? There you go. That's <laughs> you responsible. Know, that's, that's the cough syrup, and so well, it needs to be cleaned out too. You yeah. Know? There you go. You know, it's getting a little thick in there. <laughs> well, you know, so I was looking, and I was thinking about that too. I was like, you know, gee, I wonder if you can like how far over that expiration date. You can go. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You, once you hit the expiration date, the the impact of the medicine, the curative ability of the medicine depletes dramatically. And, and it may be unstable too, because it, you know it, it may you don't know how much it's depleted. That's correct. You don't. And, and it could be ten percent. It could be fifty percent. It could be one hundred percent. It could be five percent. It's like you know, it's a roulette. Roll it. Let's see what. Let's see if this costs will work tonight. Don't gamble on drugs. <laughs> um, yeah, medica You know, medications are. are, are, are potent and they should be used prior to the expiration date. The okay, so quick before we close, can you believe we're almost out of time? How many days over can you go over for your expiration date for food? Uh, it, if, Is it like a stand-in? Well, it's not. It, I mean, the expiration dates are put on there as a service to the consumer. There's no federal law or state law that requires them to be on a food. Okay. You, you, may, you may lose a little bit of taste. You may lose a little bit of freshness, but you can go way over the expiration date. That's a service put on by the industry uh, to the consumer. No federal law requiring that. Federal okay. law is required on expiration dates on medications. Okay, but you would have to keep you would have to keep whatever you're buying. Like if it's refrigerated, you would have to keep it refrigerated. Oh yes, yeah, you have yeah. to keep it at whatever it's supposed to be at. Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, I can't imagine eating like a, I don't particularly eat hamburger, but I mean, I can't imagine eating hamburger three weeks after the expiration date if it's sitting in the refrigerator. No, you, there's, there's, <laughs> there's shelf stability when it comes to okay, you know, qual yeah. quality of a, of a hamburger or whatever the case may be. Okay. But you know, you know, cereal, you know, grains and breads, um, if they don't mold and become, you know, just plain unhealthy and unappetizing, yeah, yeah you can, you can. Yeah, if it's not moving. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, if it moves. That's what my mother used to joke about, it's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> that's not growing, so it's got to be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's right. you know, just plain common sense when it right. comes to certain foods. You know. I did not, I did not know. That's a tip of the day. I did not know that the expiration date was not regulated. It is not. There's no federal requirement on foods uh, to have expiration dates. No federal requirement. Only on medicine. Medicine is yeah. Follow that real close. That that's a federal law. Yeah, that's why we have the internet. You know, that's yeah. that's why we can we can we can definitely go on our websites yeah. and check out you know you know what to understand, what to do, what to follow, and and use that use that knowledge. It's it's, it's great. It's great. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. We'll have you back on because it, there's always something going on. <laughs> there is, and it does definitely have to be something happening in the spring. Uh, thank you so much, Jeff. Loved it. Thank you. I'm Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona interviews. Have a wonderful week.